Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 10th to the 16th of September 2018. So we begin the week with a new moon in Virgo, that's 17 degrees Virgo if you want to find that in your chart. And also Venus is going into Scorpio at the same time. So coming out of the dark moon and into the new moon at 7pm UK time on Sunday, we have a fresh start. We have that feeling of back to school starting to get organised and after a summer of not being able to plan and arrange and structure anything, we now have the green light to go ahead because we've been taken to the core of our being in order that we plan from our true essence rather than from our head or what we thought we wanted or from our false personality narrative. So we've had a whole summer of being held long enough to review, to reassess and to reconnect with our true selves. In astrology there are six pairs rather than twelve signs, so here we are on the axis of Virgo Pisces, the opposites. And this axis generally calls us to balance our two centres of intelligence. We have the mind, yes, which is a useful tool, uh, can be sharpened and used wisely with precision, that's the Virgo part. But we also have the cellular knowing of our body, which is more the Pisces side, the intuition, where we just feel truth of something. So we're called at this time to keep those two in balance and we have Neptune in Pisces tuning us right in to our knowing. This is also helpful because Pisces sees the much bigger picture. So we're looking at our sole purpose here, not just what we're doing to make ourselves feel important or to give our lives immediate purpose, but we're actually looking at why did I come here and what is it that I resonate with? What's my spiritual mission as well as my earthly mission. So for the whole of the month of Virgo this is the balance that we're working with and as we head into the new moon with Neptune opposite then we can really do some fine tuning on that balance. So tuning into our intuition, our internal guidance system and coming from here rather than just what the head thinks we should be doing. So a daily practice this week to stop and listen, to be able to feel, to be able to hear and to calibrate those two sides of ourself. As I say, we've been held in a holding pattern over the summer and this week we finally get some forward motion. A lot of the planets have been retrograde, taking us deep within. And although this has been confusing and it's sometimes frustrating, we had to surrender to the divine timing of this in order that we can really find ourselves. So on Monday we have a clear path forwards. We can take the daily steps necessary to fulfilling our heartfelt goals. We can start to make a plan, but maybe keep it loose and every day do what feels the most productive, what feels right towards that plan. By Tuesday we have Mars stepping into Aquarius and we've had the retrograde all over the summer. Mars has gone into Aquarius, back into Capricorn, now goes back into Aquarius. So this has been part of the reconnective summer. And this has taken us to inspect where we put our soul force energy. Mars is where we take our soul force energy and direct it upwards. And coming back into Aquarius now we have new wisdom recentered and fired up and energized to put our soul plan into action. So this is the union of passion and purpose. Aquarius is our vision. Aquarius is our vibrational contribution. So when we're not focused so much on doing, then we have time to look at what we're being, what we're feeling and what we're contributing without any action. We're actually radiating and transmitting. So to fire up that passion and purpose is our meditation on Tuesday because this is where we'll be creating from. Create from the passion and the imagination and then give the mind the job to do to take the right actions and steps towards achieving the plan. It's quite a busy week because by Wednesday we have Saturn trying Uranus and this is a very good day for research and inspiration. We're breaking old habits, we're breaking old systems and it's a very much out with the old and in with the new feeling as we can now build on solid ground. 
So this again has been part of the big retrograde summer. Saturn is now in forward motion, but Uranus is still retrograde. So we go in to find what really inspires us, what's really true, what we believe, what we know, and to restructure, getting rid of anything that's limiting or has served its purpose. Then by Thursday we have Venus opposition Uranus. And there's a real feeling of liberation coming in. The more we do this work, the more we feel lighter, less concerned with false beliefs. And this one is to do with conditional love where we make others responsible for our happiness, where we try and manipulate other people into doing things for us or to prove or to validate us. So on Thursday we can look at any insecurities that may be lurking deep within and bring those to the surface for inspection. And this produces swift and lasting change. There's a liberation of the heart here. We can get over all of that psychological chess game mentality and actually allow ourselves and others to be free. And in perfect timing by Friday, Jupiter meets with the moon to reconnect us with our power. So once we get rid of all these mindsets, once we get rid of all these false beliefs, what's left is our true power and our true essence. So Friday is a wonderful day to connect to your fullness, to your majesty, to dive deep and swim within those waters. By the weekend, there's clarity. All the introspection, all the inspiration, all the intuition that we've explored over the week makes us wiser and more objective. Once we delete a lot of the programs, we see things differently. So as I said at the beginning, this is the little picture in the big picture with Virgo wanting to attend to detail on a daily basis, but Pisces wanting to see the sole purpose of where we're actually heading and what we're contributing. This should become clearer by the weekend as we're finely tuned now to our inner essence and empowered to come from that place to live a purposeful and harmonious life. So this week, my reading of the week is Soul Purpose, how we can look at your soul plan, your astrological chart, and we can fine tune and direct that so that you're putting your energy where it's needed, where it's wanted, where it's the most high frequency, with the least effort. There shouldn't have to be effort to achieve. We shouldn't have to work hard. We shouldn't have to be busy. This should be more like a resonating flow. So if you'd like to come to see me for that, I'm available one-to-one -one or online, and we can explore where all of this is happening for you. If you'd like to contact me, I'm available zoehind 7 at gmail.com. My website is astrozo.com. My Facebook is at astrozo and my Instagram is zoehind7. So please do share and subscribe to these videos and come and find me on social media. I'd love to connect with you. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week.